Hello and what is up guys, Rai here and welcome back to some more automation. As you can tell by the title of the video, we are creating a, another supercar for the channel. I, I think this is like our third supercar-ish. We did a 1990 supercar uh, earlier this week and today we are making a 2020 supercar. So a modern supercar. It's not going to be futuristic, I don't think at least for me. It's something that can come out today. Um, so... What I'm going to have is a big old V12, because nothing says supercar. A big old V12, but it's going to be naturally aspirated. No turbos here. It's going to be a pretty much similar to um, the Aston Martin. I think it's called the Valkyrie. So it's, the Valkyrie is a 6.5 liter V12 and a, I think it's 11,000 RPM. I don't think we're going to go that high, but it's going to be pretty high revving. Um, anyways, the body I've chosen for this. So I have a variety of bodies we can use. We can use this Lotus Exige body I have downloaded as a mod. Um... We're gonna use this body for now. I might change it to the Ferrari La Ferrari body, maybe the Porsche body, because I I'd still consider that a supercar. I still consider that a supercar. Uh, or the not that one. That one's ugly. So the, yeah, that or the La Ferrari or the one more. There's a a Koenig Sig body. We're gonna start off just with this one, the long wheelbase one, just because this engine's gonna be massive. I don't even think it can fit really. Um, so there are of course going to be some rules. Oh, not space ray monocoque carbon fiber, a mid-mounted longitudinal engine. So the rules for this engine, so it's going to be 2019 or 2020. I think 2020 is what we're doing. Uh, mid or rear engine, a V6 engine or, or larger, so V12 in this case, or V16 I could do, but V16 just, it's too massive to be efficient in any way. Um, turbos are allowed for engines under 6 liters. I don't want a turbo, it doesn't matter. Uh, max size is 8 liters. $500,000 is the budget. Sports tires, premium fuel, uh, plus five is a max slider, so you can do like plus five or some things. We're gonna go push front suspension, front and rear. I'm gonna leave all the sliders default for now, except for engine if I'm modifying it. So V12, um, you know, I'll just go aluminum for now. Dual over cam, four valve. I could go push rod. It'd be dramatically smaller in push rod form. I'm not sure what we'll do yet. EVL, we'll go five valves. We don't need turbos, so much. we'll just go five. We don't need variable valve lift and whatnot. Gonna make this the smallest was a stroke, smallest stroke possible, and just a big old bore. We're gonna go 6.5 liters to start. It might be a bit bigger. There we go, 6.5, perfect. Full forge internals. We're gonna put this just to 90 for now. It's gonna just make all the power peak at top RPM. Direct injection per cylinder. Performance or race? Performance, I think, is what we're gonna do. I don't usually do race. I might do standard and like no mufflers, just because it'll sound cool. Um, I'm not sure yet. I think this is one of the only cars we can actually have race tubular. It doesn't look crazy in this car. It doesn't look crazy. So that's good. We go, um, it needs a cap and then no mufflers. So, revs to up to 10,000 max. So we're going to bring it just to 10,000, which is what we're uh, We get some valve float. We'll fix out just with um, a bit of quality sliders there. 400 horsepower. That's perfect. That's exactly what I was looking for. We're just 400 horsepower. We'll stop right there. No. Dual exhaust, there's more horsepower. <laughs> this is so easy to make power. <laughs> oh, this is nuts. Oh, this is nuts. 10,000. I think we can rev it even higher, to be honest. We just, um... I'm gonna save some money in the end. Bring it to 5, it'll do 11,000. This is pretty much Aston Martin Valkyrie. And of course, it doesn't like... Doesn't, give me, just give me even numbers. I just want an even number. <laughs> this is so... That... And we'll increase. Yeah, let's, just, let's just do max. Whatever we can get out of this thing. Just, just rattling. 906. 900 horsepower. Out. 895. That works, but I really want the torque curve to be 895 horse. That sounds fine. Good enough. It's not perfect. We're going to stick with this body just for now. It fits in here nicely. This body, none of the supercar bodies are honestly great. And this one's just weird. It reminds me of like a... A, um, like a, not, not an eco car, but like some sort of streamlined one-off hyper, hyper miler, hyper miler car. Yeah. So all-wheel drive is a must as well. Dual clutch, of course, seven speeds. Electric LSD. We're gonna go a bit of a rear bias here. It's on the drive. Wheel, sports. Something like this for now. I'll probably change that. Carbon fiber wheels, carbon ceramics. Four pistons. Size. So... Oh. Two seater sport. I mean, it's gonna have some sort, some sort of basic standard infotainment, electric variable, lighter, then progressive. I don't want to go active sport. 
Yeah. Oh, wait, so we're at 3,200 pounds. You're 16, 2.4, so it is heavy for me, you know? It could be, it could be a little lighter. Uh, we can go like this, though. Probably under budget for now, I'm guessing. Bye, 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 bit. Here goes. There, we can actually go magnesium. That's shaved off, I don't know how much pounds. Like 50 pounds. We are up to $200,000. Weight distribution is actually awesome. 2.3 seconds, 0 to 60. The weight is 3,200 pounds. Top speed is actually terribly slow. Now, this is just being nuts to drive on the track. 2.3 seconds, 0 to 60. 7. Three is what she. Okay. Now, I don't know if we'll do this body. Can you see the weights are in other bodies? Uh, not, not that body. We will try. See, this other body is what I might, I might choose. The Koenig Sig body. We're gonna try the, um, the long wheelbase Exige. So basically like a, what, like a, like a Hennessy Venom, I guess. It looks wild. It looks, it looks wild. It looks freaking wild. Look at that. Um, look at body types. Do some options here. L1 CO. That's better. Doesn't fit. Oh, it needs this, eh? Oh, it's so disgusting. Oh, it doesn't fit in anything up. Oh, well, thanks for telling me, game. You're right, it doesn't need. It's just so disgusting. That's just disgusting. Uh, like, that, that's nice. No rear window. Uh, so much bodies. Weird. Okay. Um. Okay, I think we've got the gist of the car. I, I think I like this body. You can mold it, a, you know, a, a bit and stuff. I might have to change the engine. Why is how, how close are we for the engine fitting here? Oh, it just doesn't fit. It just does not fit. Well, let's... It's just 6.5 liters still. Okay, 892 horsepower. We actually want to get that just back up a bit because I don't like awful numbers. Okay. Oh, there we go. 905 horsepower, 570 torque. We just made the fuel economy worse, which is fine. It weighs 3,100 pounds now. I like the body. I think it looks pretty good. As long as I can make a car that looks decent for any of it, it is a wild looking body. Even any longer, like a long tail. Just a long... A really long supercar, you know? Um, not the front, just the rear. Weight distribution. It is... This stays the same for some reason. No, wait, actually, it does. Not, not, not much though. Okay, thirty-one twenty-three. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do now? Take this big, big tires. Oh boy. I'm not sure if I like that actually, but. Do probably. Oh, you can't do this. This is rattling. Doesn't actually like like the fit in there properly. This. Oh, I guess I can do that. Yeah, I guess I can do this. Oh, I can't. That is just too disgusting. What if I go to? Hmm. Yeah, my third choice is always the Koenig Six body. The Koenig Six body is nice. I love this body. I've used it a lot and I've designed cars like this, which is why I'm kind of... Oh, mid-transverse sounds fine. What's the weight on this thing, though? Not, uh, not 520. 2,900 pounds. This thing is, is actually slower. 3 seconds, 0, 60. Oh, that's because it's rear-wheel drive. Oh, it's gonna be just over 3,000 pounds. Very fast. Oh, wait for 2 seconds. Okay. I think I like this. I love this body, honestly. This is my favorite body in the game. Supercars. Um, it's an awesome body. What I'm gonna do now is design the car, tweak the not probably not the engine, tweak um everything about the car, though, the, the suspension, all the other stuff, just to make sure it's all good to go. Then after that, we will look over the car. Um, I'll start the car, show you guys how it sounds, and then the next episode will be the testing versus Canadian steel. 
So I'll see you guys in a minute or so. I hope you guys enjoy the time lapse. And the car is finally complete. This one took quite a bit of time as well. Um, same as the last supercar that I created earlier this week. So this is the 2020 Benito Verona. So just BV, Benito Verona. And the, the logo is in the back of the car. Right? So I put that on the back. We got their, uh, their signature BV logo. Sure. The Benito Verona Quaranta. Quaranta? How do you pronounce that? It's Italian for 40, I think. Uh, it's the 40th anniversary. Uh, Vinito Verona was founded in 1980 by a guy named Vinito. Sure, I don't know. Um, we're just making it up as we go here. So this company was founded in 1980. We'll just say, sure. Uh, I think a 1980 supercar now, I guess, or something. Um, founded in the 1980s. This is the 40th anniversary. The Vinito Verona Quaranta. Quaranta? 40? 40? I don't know. Um, it could also be in relation to maybe the four-wheel drive system. All-wheel drive. I don't know. 40 for something, I'm not too sure. 14 miles per gallon, this $430,000 supercar. Actually pretty cheap, I know. The reason being because it's only max at plus five for sliders. And I did go ahead and actually did some more sliders, I think, so I, I did change a few things. We can actually just change this just a bit. That, that's better, oh, jeez. Serious, you're pissing me off now. So it has a top speed of 299 miles kilometers an hour. Okay, it's down. There we go. It's got 1,100 pounds of rear downforce. The total downforce in this car is over four, it's 1,450 pounds of downforce. That's quite a bit, so that's almost half the car's weight in downforce. Top speed is just a measly 300 kilometers an hour. Uh, I'm not sure what that is in miles. It's probably something like 100 and something. I'm not sure. Um, 0 to 60 in a whopping at 2.3 seconds. Again, this is, I don't want to say realistic. It's a supercar, right? Um, but I'm trying to stay in the realm of possibilities. It is, at the end of the day, a 940 horsepower V12 engine. No turbo, so it must be a pretty damn powerful V12. Um, the side profile, I was actually going with having like a window here with like the interior with the uh, the Roadster mod or whatnot, but I just couldn't get it to work enough with this body. Um, so nice, bright, bright green paint. I think I've only I used green paint for my muscle car, I think, or something like that. Great, it's a great color. Monster green, sure. Um, very aggressive front end. Very aggressive. It, it's... I find it's hard to make this, this front end look different from all the other ones because this car you don't really have much recast lights here or something. I, I don't like that. It has to be clean, you know? But anyways, we have this main giant, just ginormous front end that goes down the entire pretty much front of the car. It's almost like um, it's almost like a big box around the entire front end of the car. 
We have a hexagonal grill, I guess like an Audi style grill here with a big body panel piece here that actually would hold the headlights in. Um, we have a nice big vent here that sort of just sucks in air for whatever reason, maybe for the brakes, who knows. Then we have pretty much just massive opening in the bottom where air travels through. You guys should see the difference. Yeah. Uh, massive 21 chain wheels. 21 inch wheels, yeah, with 375 series or series millimeter wide tires in the rear and 255, so actually quite small front tires. Um, I'm trying to get it so there's no oversteer if we can help it, just a little bit of oversteer, then pretty much over 60 kilometers an hour, it switches to understeer, so I think we should be pretty good. Uh, I'll test this car up before I actually make the video. I might tweak it just a bit because I'm, uh, I'm not sure if those what front tires are wide enough at all, but the game is sort of telling me it is. Um, we'll see. That's one thing I might tweak those, the front tire width. Everything else will probably stay the same. Um, so 3,300-ish pounds. Carbon fiber, everything, brakes, body panels, you name it. Ford interior, so that, keep it all the same. Pretty much all that the same. The only big change here is actually, I didn't go with progressive springs like I was thinking of, because that's, that's lighter, obviously. It's the lightest solution besides standard. Um, I went with hydro pneumatic. If you guys aren't sure what hydro pneumatic is, it's, it's um, basically fluid use as a suspension system long story short it's fluid uh you have like a reservoir of fluid and if there's bumps and stuff like the fluid moves around and stuff and it puts more fluid where there need, is needed and whatnot uh, i could have went for air but hydro pneumatic is is the best for handling it is the best in the game for handling high downforce so it's actually keeping it's the only thing keeping this cover if we actually switch to air bottom out active sport active comfort and a progressive and bottom out on everything hydro pneumatic is the only thing i won't bottom out for um so what else the car i did tune the horsepower just a bit it's got four 900 via yeah, 940 horsepower as you guys just saw 590 torque not that fast sitting speed though clutch the spacing is 60 which i think is gonna be fine it just as wheel spin obviously is what it says which is just a right if i get the more 40 spacing it was to 60 kilometers an hour still 0 to 60 in 2.3 seconds brakes i'm not sure we're gonna hold but we'll see uh, going back to the design of the car, I know I keep going back and forth here. So, we've got the running light here, surrounded by a big grill. We've got the actual headlights, you know, low beam, high beam, wherever it is. We've got a turn signal there. There's no turn signals on the side. This car is, let's just say, street legal. I'm not sure if it actually would be. The back, and the only thing I don't like is how high this is. It pisses me off. You can't really get it lower. This game is not perfect. In a perfect world, this would be, you know, as low as this. It's a little car be like the same height, and this would just be stretched a little longer. This will all be the same, we just have like a lower, lower thing here. Um, this is glitching out because part of the body panels and stuff, I don't know. Um, it's glitching out, don't worry about it, just ignore these lines, these cuts. Uh, we got the humongous tail light, reverse light thingy bobber, so pretty much first, second, and third brake light is all in one. Searches across the entire back end, it's a similar sort of design to the front end, so it comes around like this. Back, so it's, it's, it's similar, I, I like how it's very similar. Turn signals are similar but different, obviously it's just one long turn signal, then we have a reverse slit right there. Um, not much more to tell about this car, there's, yeah, there's the logo again. We got double wings, if you guys didn't notice that, that's double wings, the smaller wing going into a bigger wing. Um, ideally, I'd like to not have any wings in this car and actually probably not have anything here, just have like this, but... You know, if I'm gonna have wings here, I'm gonna have to have this here and stuff, and... You need pieces on the front for downforce, at least in automation. Uh, BMG, it's pretty, pretty screwy with you. Uh, a massive front diffuser, if you guys haven't noticed that. Everything is carbon fiber. All this black, it's not black paint that I have. It's all actually really dark, uh, glossy carbon fiber, which is cool. I, I like this body because you could actually assign a, a secondary slot with the roof. As that, I mean, I can have it just monster green. Have it like this. You guys like that better? I don't think I can do British racing green, which is a dark, dark, dark green. Doesn't look bad, but I like dark fiber. Just a bit darker, and of course, like Yellow calipers. Um, I don't like how the um, you know, since this is so short. Let's see, oh, this is the biggest gripe with the car. It's just right here. This and under. Big, my, my biggest disappointment. Besides a little barren, but what do you expect? Um, there's no gas cap actually. We'll need that. I think this would be a very interesting competition with Canadian steel. We got to go to gas cap. Yeah, then we'll just have like a, a race gas cap maybe. Then we'll just do like a little bit, little, little bigger, but a little bit of a chrominess to it. Be black like that. 
carbon fiber? Sure. No, no, it'll be, um... Chrome. Oh, I guess the chrome's just reflecting off something. Doesn't look like it. Green, black, carbon, and we'll just, um... Just that. So you have a gas cap, or pretty much have a quick fuel area, I guess, like like a race car. There's like a quick fuel area. So we'll have one on each side just for matching looks. Ugly gas. One on each side. That. There we go. So we have the Benito Verona Coranta Series 65, 6.5 liter V12 engine, 6 Series 65. So that's where it's getting them from. Sure, maybe there's a Series 73, a Series 85. Who knows? The car is done. Um, I'll see you guys, of course, in the um, Demon G portion of the challenge video. We'll see what Canadian Steel has. Make sure to check out his channel. Linked down below, guys. Check it out. Um, you know, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.